interest rates don't look like they're going to be um, pulled back anytime soon. The central bank hiked interest rates up from 0.25% at the beginning of 2022 to 5.25% in August in a bid to bring spiralling inflation under control. And the hope was that they would fall back to 4.25% by the end of 2024. That's still some way from 0.25% at the beginning of 2022. However, what's happened is inflation inflation has gone up rather than down. So this is a slap in the face to Rishi Sunak, who claimed that he got inflation under control. No, no, inflation has gone up from 3.9% in November to 4% in December. And it's all apparently down to tobacco. Without tobacco, inflation would have remained the same, 3.9%. That's not on the way down, that's just levelling off. So instead it's gone up. Um, it's like measuring your weight, isn't it? Now, the Labour Party has been practically, practically ecstatic, but uh, it's a muted ecstasy um, uh, with, uh, expressed with concern for the public, which is a relief, I suppose. Uh, Rachel Reeves, the shadow chancellor, has said prices are still rising in the shops with the average weekly shop £110, more than it was before the last general election, and the average family set to be £1,200 worse off under Rishi Sunak's tax plan. I must say, I, I do feel the pinch, and this morning my bank sent me a text message saying that I have to put money in the bank uh, by two o'clock, which um, God knows how that's going to happen. I suspect I'm going to have to teach another lesson or two. And the Liberal Democrats said the increase in inflation would worry people across the country, seeing their pay stretched as the cost of living crisis continues to rage on. But that's not going to be a crisis felt by Sir Ed Davey, is it? Because he takes money from uh, legal firms who are representing the post office. Uh, but it means that the inflation uh, has not turned a corner, as the Prime Minister had suggested. Uh, it's bad news for families. And in fact, we are worse off now after 14 years of Conservative rule. Uh, the Treasury spokesperson, Sarah Olney, said um, uh, that uh, the, uh, the government has much more to get the economy back on track. And then the Chancellor said the plan is working and we should stick to it. That's Jeremy Hunt, the man who made Spoonerism fashionable again. Um, Jeremy Hunt, in a sort of bland way, as we have seen in the US, France and Germany, inflation doesn't fall in a straight line. No, it falls like a bomb, Jeremy. Uh, we took difficult decisions to control borrowing and we are now turning a corner. So we need to stay the course we have set, including boosting growth with our competitive tax levels. Um, well, I don't know quite what he, what, what, what he means by this. We are turning a corner. Well, we are turning a corner. It's just the wrong corner. He thinks we're going that way. We are, in fact, going that way. Uh, he can be as determined as he wants um, in, his, in his plan. We're just going in the wrong direction. And uh, the ONS chief economist, uh, Grant Fitzner, said the rate of inflation ticked up a little in December, while prices in tobacco, uh, due to recently introduced duty increases, went up. So, in the end, the reason there's inflation, the reason inflation has spiked, is because of duty increases. Oh, what's responsible for that? Ha <laughs> ha! Dare I say, Brexit! Brexit is responsible for this. The one thing that nobody wants to admit in the Conservative Party is Brexit is causing inflation. Brexit! Duty prices, duty increases... That's, what, that's what's causing inflation at this moment, specifically duty on tobacco. That is, a, that is down to Brexit. Oh, I mean, of course, you could, you, could, you could encourage everybody to stop smoking, which would be great. But the reality is, at the moment, that smoking is down to Brexit, uh, a Brexit duty charge. And... I, I would have thought this is this spells 
um, this spells disaster. The one thing, the one positive that Rishi Sunak was able to present to the country was that inflation was falling. He can't sort out the small boats. He sh I don't think that's a priority anyway. Uh, he's got inflation under control. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No. He is, in other words, demonstrably failing on all of his pledges. What he needs to do is go back to the drawing board, get rid of Isaac Thingamy, get rid of these five pledges, because no one can think, no one can count up to the number five. Even Disney reduced the number of digits in the, in the hand. We can only count up to the number three. Three pledges, tricolon, three things, that's all we can remember, and fix them, achieve them. Three goals, not five, three. Rishi, listen. Grow up. 